secret caddy right here. Well, this is the board I'm gonna ride a pipeline. 7-0. I'm really hoping this is the last board I ever ride in a contest. Meaning that if there's full waves, because I'm riding my 7-0, so that means it's kind of bombing, so that's my hope. Now I could go 7-1, 7-2, but 7-0 is perfect. Pretty much just want as much meat in the rails. Um, I still want it to kind of feel like, like it's a short board, like I can like ride it and throw it around. Um, not like a lot of swing weight where it's like this heavy sort of crazy glassed out board. I had a fish on the uh, board in Tahiti that I made a couple heats on, so I figured like, hey, I'll just put the fish on here. And the same thing will happen, right? You think they'll give me more boards after the comp? That's the, that's the thing. Hey, CI, after I'm done competing, will you still give me free boards? <laughs> I had a, a board, a Fred Rubble that I got off CI and I rode at Karamas and that thing just became magic for me. They dialed that thing in and then I just been getting, you know, similar boards off that model. But look how nice the stickers are. It's all about the sticker placement, man. You guys know that. Yeah, I'll use a medium set of goods fins. Probably go thruster unless it's back door. Oh yeah, shark proof. It looks good. It's so nice. Trippy, dude. Are you tripped out? Yeah, this is me and Damo's template. We've also had it on the Goods Ones fin. Um, been rocking it for a while. Pretty all arounder. You know, I'm not a second reef guy. Like, I don't go out there. I don't hunt those waves. I don't, you know, I'm just kind of looking for a wave that's like up and under. That's, you know, preferably clean water. No, just kind of first reef, you know, in there. Like, line up with the house. Everyone lines up with Connor's house. And then something that's not stretched out too much because. And if there's a lot of kind of some water moving over to the side, it'll kind of stretch out. Some of those waves, they just stretch out really quick. And some of them you kind of see come back on themselves and it's a little bit hard to read that. So I kind of just try to judge on how much water's moving off the reef. That gives me a good idea of how far the wave's gonna grow. And you know if you're having trouble catching the wave, then you know this wave's gonna barrel. I mean, every wave you've like, I can't get it it becomes a perfect wave because obviously if it's jacking, it's gonna barrel a lot. If a wave like lets you in really easy, a lot of times it's not that good. See a pipe, bro.